Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fonda and I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, Twin Flame, Romance, Life, Path, and Purpose. You can book it at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. This is the weekly Divine Feminine Tarot reading, Messages for Divine Feminine. Today is Friday, June 4th, 2021. How are you doing, Twin Flame? To begin, we're going to say a prayer over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Divine Feminines, Guardian Angels, let this reading be of the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, please stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Twin flame angels and divine feminines, guardian angels, what do divine feminines need to know this week to learn and grow? So we're going to start with a fairy tarot card to get one from each of the five decks I have outlined here. The first one is the fairy tarot deck. I'm going to pick that and we are going to go ahead and move right on, <laughs> move right on with the daily messages from your angels. So we're going to take this one daily messages from your angels. We're gonna go on to the Archangel Oracle deck right here. We're gonna get one for Divine Feminines for Friday, June 4th and all week long in this time of a Mercury retrograde. And we're gonna go ahead and get one from the Mystical Wisdom. I have the book here just in case I need to read from the book of the Myst Mystical Wisdom for Divine Feminines for this week. So far, so good. So far, the reading is looking really, really good. Okay, and we're gonna take one from the, this is, I love Archangel Raphael. This is the healing angel. And so I like when we're talking about light work and reunion with your twin flame, I like to get the healing energy to see what's going on here in this healing energy. Okay. So we're going to start off with the fairy tarot, which I absolutely love. It's the Ten of Autumn. We got this card two weeks ago for Divine Feminine. I can't believe it. We got this card at least. It was either two readings ago for DF or three weeks ago for DF, but it was very recent, very recent, because I know one week the Ten of Autumn is the Ten of Pentacles. So I know in one week we had Divine Masculine getting the Ten of Pentacles and Divine Feminine getting the Ten of Pentacles. This is very large reunion energy and this is saying Divine Feminines, great job and you even got reward yourself for doing a great job. Reward yourself. Gosh, Ten of Pentacles is about having it all. It is a completion of a cycle, but it's also a beginning of a new cycle and I feel like for Divine Feminines, this is you getting a pat on the back from the universe and saying, great job, Divine Feminines. This is getting your twin flame. This is getting the integration of your family with your twin flames family. This is about either having children or bringing children into the union. It's about being financially set, financially successful. I'm actually gonna put the reading above here, the Divine Feminine reading where we also got the Ten of Pentacles, which is the Ten of Autumn in this deck. This is about everything coming to fruition, like everything you ever wanted in your physical world coming to fruition. It's about being very financially stable as well, having a good home life, having a fulfilling and successful relationship and home life. I love this. I love the Ten of Pentacles. It is amazing. It's almost better than the Ten of Cups, which the Ten of Cups is really good energy. But I really feel like Ten of Pentacles is really having it all. Then I get, you know, reward yourself. It just says you've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. So really, Divine Feminines, this is like a constant message. Honestly, it's a constant message for Divine Feminines. I do many readings for Divine Feminines. I'd say I do about 90% of my readings, 90 to 95% of my readings are for Divine Feminines. About 
five to ten percent anywhere in between is for divine masculine so i always get this message of divine feminines needing to learn how to receive and if there's a question mark surrounding exactly how you can receive with grace and gratitude and with open arms Sign up for my Twin Flame Divine Feminine Bootcamp. Number one, the link is below. And even number two, the healing, because we work so much through how to honor yourself, how to love yourself, how to give back to yourself and not look at it as selfish. So many of you out there are empaths and caretakers and workers in the world who are taking care of other people whether it's your children, your parents, your grandparents, or whether you're like a nurse or a doctor or therapist or emergency care worker, so many of you, or even a teacher, of course, but so many of you are nurturers and caretakers, but you need to remember to give back to yourself. It is so important. Now, I love this because this is saying children, and we've gotten this card before for Divine Feminines with this child sitting with this tiger here. And it says your children are protected. Now I would even say your children born and unborn are protected. And I feel like so many of you are worried about these life transitions that you're making, whether you're getting divorced or getting separated or becoming a family, a new family with your own children, with your twin flame. Just know that your children are protected through everything, through all these transitions that you're making, through all these shifts that you're making, that God is protecting your children and just know that. And even your unborn children are being protected. I know a lot of you have been thinking about having children once you become united with your twin flame. And just know that those children too are protected. Now, the other thing I want to say to you about rewards yourself is that I really want you to honor your inner child too. Just looking to your inner child and, and letting it play, letting it out to play and honoring the vulnerability that your inner child is feeling even as you're making this move to become reunited with your twin. I really feel that. I feel that you need to honor that inner child. Now, there's one more card that needs to be picked here for the Brilliant Idea card that we also got last week. <laughs> we got the Brilliant Idea card last week. So let's just take a look here and see what your guardian angels have to say, Divine Feminines. Yeah, so I feel like you're getting these intuitive ideas about your life moving forward. And Archangel Uriel is sending you those ideas every step of the way. And the way Archangel Uriel works is to light up. Think of like walking on a sidewalk. Now here in the United States, I don't know how it is all over the world. Some in some parts of the world, there are like cobblestones or brick sidewalks here in the United States. It's blocks of cement that are about you know, two to three feet wide or maybe a meter in width. And the way Archangel Uriel really works with this brilliant idea or giving you brilliant ideas for your life path is Archangel Uriel is going to light up like one block of the sidewalk and then allow you to walk forward to that block. And then Archangel Uriel will light up the next block. So Archangel Uriel does not necessarily work with lighting up all the pathway right away for you to see, but it's more like just lighting up each step of the way to allow you to see your light path. And it says, Archangel Jeremiel says like, all is well, look at these sparkles, look at these sparkles and look at the light. Like both of these cards have a lot of sparkles and light and I like that. And the message that's coming through for this is that even though you can't see your entire path illuminated, everything is going fine. You just have to trust it. Just trust that things are moving forward as they need to move forward. And you need to know that Divine Feminine, that as you're making all of these changes, these life transitions, moving into reunion with your twin flame and 
making humongous changes that all is well. You don't need to see the whole path unfold in front of you. You just need to know what the next step is. And we're getting this forgiveness heals from Archangel Raphael, the healing Archangel. And what I feel forgiveness heals is about is about your twin flame journey. Now I'm going to put up here the union energies for this week. If you're watching this on June 4th and in that union energy, there was another message about forgiveness. I really feel like you need to forgive yourself for anything that you did or did not do in your twin flame journey. You need to forgive your divine masculine for anything your divine masculine did do or did not do on your twin flame journey. You need to forgive people from your past, your family, people that it may have hurt you from the past. And I feel like that is a beautiful way to then move forward with this 10 of autumn, this 10 of pentacles energy of reunion with your twin, merging families together and becoming one big happy family. And I feel like that's just really good momentum and really good energy moving forward. But just know that if you can't see your whole path illuminated in front of you and it's creating some anxiety and some frustration for you, Archangel Jeremiah is saying, you know what, all is well, all is well, all is well. You need to trust in the process. Trust that all you need to see right now, perhaps, is just the next step in front of you. That you don't need to see the whole path right now. And that's okay. That part of acceptance of that in your life path is actually okay. But the energy looks really good. A lot around inner child and small children and forgiveness. This is really, really, really good energy. And I would say if you have homework for this week, reward yourself. Pat yourself on the back, Divine Feminine. Play with your inner child, meaning like say to your inner child, like it's okay to have feelings and emotions. It's okay to be impatient. It's okay to sometimes not want to forgive, but we're going to work through this forgiveness anyway. And just know that it, you can worry about your children, but it might not change the trajectory of things. So trust in God instead and know that your children are protected through every step as well. So I hope this was helpful this week, Divine Feminines. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other Twin Flame Divine Feminines. And thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp. You can pledge your support on Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondon. And I will see you in the next video.